Ain't gonna study war no more. Ain't gonna study war no more. Gonna lay down those Australian submarines down by the riverside. Down by the riverside. Down by the riverside. Gonna lay down those Australian submarines. Down by the riverside, gonna study war no more. I ain't gonna study war no more. Ain't gonna study war no more. Ain't gonna study war no more. I ain't gonna study war no more. Ain't gonna stand and say, down by the riverside. Down by the riverside, down by the riverside, gonna lay down the NSA. Down by the riverside, gonna study in war no more. I ain't gonna study in war no more, ain't gonna study war no more, ain't gonna study in war no more. U.S. Navy was thrown out of Subic Bay in 1992, but now they've come back as part of this pivot because they need more ports of call. They need more barracks to put the soldiers. They need more runways for their planes to land as they do this military encirclement of China. And so I was told that five American ships a week are coming back into Subic Bay. I saw one while I was there. And from there, I went to Darwin, and I visited Robertson Barracks with China, economically. But if it holds the keys to China's economic engine by controlling China's access to resources, then they believe they can manage or control China. And so space technology becomes fundamental because all warfare today on the planet is run through the 100 U.S. military satellites orbiting the Earth. Space Command. And so they're asking the Australian people to give up your health care, give up your education, give up your environmental programs, and move those funds into the so-called modernization and interoperability of your military with the U.S. military. It's a devil's bargain. It's a devil's bargain. And my hope is that the people in your country So the, the song that I was singing is a chant uh, that basically says um, Saina, which is our ancestors, Ginen uh, Hagu, this is from you, um, and it says uh, that we want Nayam Animu, give us your blessing. Um, that we need and met good ham pagu na i netnun very strong is this gathering get pagu pagu na i netnun very beautiful is this gathering um, so let's live together and be strong together uh, and then osaina um, sizos masi means uh, dear ancestors thank you for all that you have given us um, and I think that uh, when I see what you've done today uh, and, and your message is very loud and clear. It was incredibly powerful to walk and see how effective you were in, in grabbing people's attention because 
Um, oftentimes, this message is invisible in people's imaginations and in people's understanding of what's happening in the world. And for me, um, and where I'm from, the people who are most invisible tend to be our ancestors in the United States. Guam is a U.S. colony. It is an unincorporated territory of the U.S., which means that it belongs to the U.S., but it's not part of the U.S. We have no representation whatsoever in the United States. We don't vote for president. We have a non-voting representative in Congress. So that means that everything that they and their military has done to our land has been without the consent of our people. As a result, they currently occupy a third of the island uh, with a gigantic naval and air force base. Um, on the island, a big naval magazine where they store all their weapons. Um, they have nuclear submarines, nuclear bombers, everything that you can imagine um, is present on the island. And what this has meant for our people is that we have become very dependent on... Nothing worse than squandering your hard-earned public dollars on projecting your state's power into a country like Afghanistan or Iraq. And it is this. It is squandering your dollars to project somebody else's state power into Afghanistan or Iraq, and that is precisely what Australia is doing. $25 billion a year in the war, partly for the war for terror and partly for the war for state power for the United States. A war for oil. A war to strangle the, growth of Ch the economic growth of China. A war to make sure that the Americans can feel good about their country and re-elect conservative politicians. We spend $25 billion a year at the moment on defence. We are set to spend a whole lot more. And there can be no more crazy thing than doing that. Right now, Australia is being sucked into the vortex of failure of American military adventurism. End up where the United States decides they want oil, or they want resources, or they want strategic significance. And part of that is Talisman Sabre. Talisman Sabre, and I, I pay my respects again to people like Hannah and the organisation uh, that she and Dennis represent, for, for standing up year in, year out to alert the Australian people to the absurdity of Talisman Sabre. We kind of got lucky and unlucky this year when two GBU-12 bombs disappeared off bombers onto the, onto the Barrier Reef. We're told it's OK because the bombs weren't armed, but they still contain high explosives. And I ask you with a reef where about 60% is already dead, the idea that it becomes a military, a military dumping ground. Two and a half thousand US soldiers on the ground in Darwin, compromising Australia's independence, compromising our neutrality, compromising our capacity to deal with our neighbours on an equal footing. And then, of course, there's Pine Gap. Those of us that are as ancient as I am will know that Pine Gap has been a cause for as long as we have been alive, a cause of getting American military intelligence out of Australia. One of the interesting... Just hold it down then. Yeah, it's recording. I oh, know, that, that's a video, so push recording. Push that one again.